Alfred. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. What's happened here? This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? Is that got some the faces. Faces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Um, okay, so this, I'm going to insert the scorch marks, marks there. Analyzing. God, we just got some cool it's gear. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Mr. Exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. What's this here? Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay, um... The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. I need to know what caused the explosion. Yeah, what's white that? rose. White, white rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. The 
Span's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Ugh. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Right, okay. Um, Blood. Like my bloody hands. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Um, I'm going to link Let me link Okay, well I can't seem to link it with that so I've got to link it with things close, I imagine. Let's see if this is anything relevant. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? A nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay, so. So this has got to do with something. So let me link that. So that's bullet and bullet. same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Right, so that links with that. Pretty bad at this. Oh, ah, this is something I haven't checked. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Right, so and that now. I'm a 
have nope Ah, shot cop. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Right, okay, so. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Let's just link it to this and see what happens. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Wow, that's like a big showdown. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I wonder if I can put it in it. Would the same same place where I left off both targets could have been shot from here but no phosphorus trace um let's have a look over here might be to the right actually Oh no, it was here. Was it? Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? stops here then he should be nearby found him time to go to work <laughs> my turn <laughs> don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard Balcone! Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! I ain't telling you, Jack! 
You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Oh shit. Oh, he's not. Oh no. True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals... Some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I, mean, I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I'm not gonna break his arm. Oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. No, I'm not. I'm gonna disappear. Tried to kill me. Who, who tried to kill you? The that man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Taking it too far. I didn't break his arm. Taking it too far would have me be broke. Break well. Be breaking his arm or smashing his face in. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Did not? Did you do anything to him? Your parents didn't raise you this way, and neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the oh, I just should have said. <sighs> She said X. Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, 
looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Oh, Where would Gotham. we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Oh. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Oh. If it goes through the press, means the police will know. It means everybody else will know. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Right, I'm going to stop this video here because I've been recording for like over an hour and a half now. So, I'm probably coming up to the end of episode one, I imagine. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, please sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video, guys.